to my guest. My next guest tonight is a correspondent on The Daily Show and was a host of this year's White House Correspondents' Dinner. Please welcome Hassan Minaj. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Last time I saw you was uh, <laughs> about a month ago at the Met Gala. Yes. The Met Gala. That's a fun night. That is uh, weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's like being inside of a dream without having to do drugs. Though strangely enough, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was having got I got up to have a conversation uh, with you uh, about your great performance, at the White House Correspondents yes. Center. We were talking about that. Oh, thank you. And Trevor Noah is yeah. there. And I think Donald Glover came over, and Anna Winter came over and asked us if we were smoking weed. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, because somebody was smoking weed I th there in the Met Museum. Yeah, I think it was Migos. Yeah, <laughs> probably. But uh, <laughs> congratulations. You got the Daily Show, uh, uh, the White House Correspondents. Yeah. Story. You got the new special on Netflix. Yes. You're only, it's only June. Are you pacing yourself? I... Because you don't want to burn out. I stretched, but I thought... <laughs> You but I honestly, at the beginning of the year, <laughs> yeah, I was in like January. I was like, no, 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 break, no, no. we got to get ready. Good yeah, for you. you could pull a I'm hammy. still, I'm still waiting for someone to be like, you got to return all of it. I really think I'm being pranked. Like, no, 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 no. Like, we all, we take it back. You can't, you can't do this stuff. You know, the White House Correspondents yeah. Dinner. I've played that room. It's that, a weird room. It is a very strange room where the people at home don't know. It's three thousand people in there. Yeah, and it looks like a. A spaceship inside of it. It's in a the, the Hilton ballroom is very weird. Yeah, it's kind of domed. It's like a, like a hollowed out turtle shell yeah. on the inside. Yeah, and it's round tables. Yeah, and and this year when you did it, the president decided he was not going to come. Yeah, so you had the president, but yes. with me, I was expecting him to like burst through the double doors, <laughs> like a professional wrestler uh -huh. with like Triple H behind him and be like, oh no, X Pac is back. <laughs> So I was, I was getting ready. I had like a card ready called Defcon Orange, like in case he showed up. Wow. But I was waiting. I was sitting up there with wow. my salmon. Like, I, you never know. Were there any, were any jokes that like you, like, when I, cause I did it yeah. many, many, many years ago and there were some jokes that I cut on the fly. Yeah. I'm like, this room doesn't <laughs> gonna... want to hear any more of these. <laughs> um, but were, were there any jokes that you like decided not to tell in the moment or you just held on to? Like... I, I did every joke I wanted to do. Yeah. I was just shocked by how much people love USA Today. What do you mean? I did this USA Today joke. You know, I was like, just warm up. Let's, let's throw some softballs. So I was like, USA Today is here. You know, I love when a USA Today slides underneath my door. It's like they're saying, hey, you're not that smart, right? <laughs> and everyone in the room was like, oh! Like, I thought I was on World Star. I'm like, what, really? USA Today? I closed. I did this Huffington Post joke at the end, and this lady screamed. She was just like, hey! And I'm like, I just called Steve Bannon a Nazi, but you draw the line at HuffPo? Was it Ariana Huffington? <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe. Now, every, uh, how long have you been a correspondent over the, the Almost Daily? Almost three years now. Almost three years. Yeah. Uh, everybody who's been a correspondent there at some point yeah. has like a correspondent horror story. Yeah. Like I got chased by Nazis across <laughs> fields and stuff like that, and Klansmen and stuff like that. <laughs> what was, do you have one? Do you have a horror story? So we had this thing. Um, so the Daily Show is one of the lowest rated shows in Alabama. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I have no clue why. No idea. There's no explaining that. So we had this thing. <laughs> called Alabama Week, where they sent the correspondents to learn about Alabama. Is that like Alabama? Shark Week? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but with rednecks? Yeah, yeah. So they're, okay. like, they're like, guns, religion, jail. So I had to cover guns and jail, because, you know, I'm the correspondent for that. <laughs> so I go down, I go down to this gun range, and for $7, you can get a conceal and carry permit. So, you know, for the cost of a Chipotle burrito with avocado. <laughs> You can get a gun. So I go down, and I go, I have my thing. I go, hey, man, let me get a gun. And um, the guy leans into me. And you've given me this piece of advice. You've got to stay in the moment. Yeah, sure. Just keep it rolling. Yeah. So he goes, hey, man, you could be an ISIS. <laughs> and I, I was like, you can't smile. Stay in the moment. But I was kind of, I wasn't offended. I was flattered <laughs> that this guy thinks that ISIS, this global terror organization, is like, you know what we need? We need, like, an Indian boy band member 
the cute one. What? what is? You've got the crazy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got the bomber. Right, and you right, you got the cute, cute one. one. Right, you right. the cute one. Zane said no, so we got to go to... Well, you've got a special on Netflix yes. now. It's called Homecoming King. Yes. Lots of critical acclaim. Thank you. What is... Yeah. What's, okay. Give me the gist. Give me the, give me the thumbnail on Homecoming So King. it's like a one-man show about my life growing up as an Indian American Muslim kid mm -hmm. in America and you know did you were you born here did you come born, here as a born child? here my parents yeah. immigrated and uh, we talk about you know identity and love and the American dream and it's, it was really cool I actually filmed it in my hometown Davis California mm -hmm. and as I was landing the ban was happening I love how they call it a travel ban and not a Muslim ban it was just like it's like being like no 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 I don't it's like saying like I don't hate wizards I just hate people with wands. It's like, no, <laughs> just say the M word. You don't like magic, you don't like Muslims. <laughs> don't, but you know, don't give them any ideas. <laughs> you know, because I don't they think they start banning the Hogwarts. I don't think that's what to say. They're, they're going to they're gonna think you people have magical spells. You know what I love about you? <laughs> you know what I love, though? You yeah? have had every single major Muslim celebrity on this show. I have? Yeah. Aziz Ansari. Oh, okay. Kamel sure. Nanjiani. Yeah, sure. Riz Ahmed. Sure. You had my boy Mo Ammer. Sure. Rami Youssef. Yeah. Wow. Malala's an intern here. Like, I don't know. They, <laughs> they, have, they have called this uh, the mecca of television. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> uh, thank you so much thank for being you. here. Homecoming King is available on Netflix now. Hassan Minaj, everybody. Thank you. We'll be right back. The performance by Feist.